Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have a very special vlog today. It's gonna be a camping vlog. We're just doing one overnight at a campsite and we are just going to probably be sleeping in our Enos unless it rains. And if it rains, then we have a little setup where we can probably sleep in our car. If you can see this air mattress that we blew up, we were kind of trying to see if it would work. But this is like a, a single air mattress and it can fit in the back of our car when we lay the seats down. And then we have two sleeping bags on top of it. So that's probably what we're gonna do if it ends up raining. So we do have a tent, but it, we don't have it with us currently. It's in our storage. Um, yeah, we're just gonna make do with what we have. And the weather is nice. It's gonna be pretty mild. It might rain a little bit, but the temperature is super mild, which for camping, that makes things pretty easy because you don't have to pack lots of uh, layers and clothing and stuff like that. I'm going to take this air mattress down, fold up a sleeping bag, get our get all of our stuff packed up i already got my clothes packed up in this bag i did a little like short that was like pack with me i'll insert that into this video michael's getting his stuff packed up because he got from back from work a few hours ago so he's packing up his stuff i said i told you you could pack in my bag did you do that he's packing some in my stuff it looks like and then are you gonna take that backpack too no okay let me go take down our um air mattress and sleeping bags and then we can go look at me sometimes actually never been camping in Florida before, so this will be a new experience for us. I have, uh, but we did it on the beach. It was pretty cool. I almost got bit by a shark. So Michael's been camping in Florida, but not me. And this place that we're going, I think it's about 20 minutes away. Hopefully we don't get bitten by mosquitoes. Or rained on. If we get rained on, we're just going to get in our car. This time you camped in Florida, where did you camp? A 38 somewhere. I can't remember the name of it. Was it like on the beach or was it like a state park? I think it was. It's not Henderson. It's the other one. I could look it up. Headed that way and our back is full of stuff. So we're supposed to meet some friends here actually and I don't know how many people are going to be here. That is the whole church. <laughs> so some of our friends invited us. It was kind of the last minute that they invited us. We probably should have brought Monopoly deal. so pretty this is like the perfect time to go camping in Florida because it's like probably like peak leaf season don't you think yeah it's still so pretty Good morning guys. It is the next day. We survived one night of camping in our Enos. We are now walking to the porta potties because that is the only bathroom here. We did know it was gonna be primitive, but there's no bath bathhouse or anything. So we're walking to the porta potties and last night was pretty uneventful. Thankfully it did not really rain. It kind of dripped on us, but it didn't really like actually rain on us, which is really nice. Michael slept through the whole night. Right, Michael? Yeah. 
I woke up around one and I had like all these raindrops hitting me in the face. It did rain a little bit, but not like pouring down rain. So I was kind of tired of raindrops hitting me in the face because my Eno is like open, whereas Michael's is like, he can close over his head. Anyway, so I went back to the car for like two or three hours trying to sleep in the car. We couldn't blow up our air mattress because we didn't have electricity to use the pop. So I couldn't use the air mattress, so it wasn't very comfortable. So then I went back to my Eno and then slept the rest of the morning till six. From like 3.30 to six, I slept pretty much uninterrupted. But yeah, anyway. Anyway, that is our morning so far. Last night was really nice. We just hung out with everybody around the campfire. We're here with three other families and they each have two kids. It's very fun, but it's like a little loud and crazy at times. So total of six kids and eight adults. So kids almost outnumber us. It's a beautiful campsite. The leaves are really starting to show off a little bit. It just felt so peaceful waking up this morning to the fresh open air and just being grateful that it wasn't like totally soaked because it didn't rain. It was supposed to rain and it didn't rain as much as, at least as much as we thought it would. But this is what it looks like. So this morning, I'm sure we're gonna eat a little bit of breakfast and then probably start packing stuff up. I'm not sure what time we're gonna leave, but I'm sure we'll hang out and visit some more today since it is Saturday and we don't really have to be out of here super fast or anything. little trail that we found. There's a pretty little pond right here. Breakfast of Champions here. Okay guys, we are on the way home from camping. We have all of our stuff packed up in the back. We got to do a little bit of walking around, hiking. Got to play around with all the kids. Lots of laundry to do. We need to take showers. Get ready for Sunday tomorrow. <sighs> Snacking on some plantain chips on the way home. We just got home from our camping trip. We played a little spike ball, as you can see, which was super fun. Yeah, we and got to play with another couple. It was really fun. Yesterday, me and the guys, we played um, disc golf, which there was a whole course like throughout the whole campground area. The place is the Eglin Disc Golf Course, but they've got campgrounds around it, really. Yeah, we got our camping fix. We got to hang out around the campfire, slept roast marshmallows, all that stuff. We both slept in our hammocks, which... Allie kind of bailed out apparently in the middle of the night, which I didn't even know because I slept really, really well. Yeah, I, it was starting to rain a little bit and I kept getting water in my face. So I was like, I came to the car for like a few hours, but yeah. then I went back because it was actually more comfortable than sleeping in the car. But it was a super fun trip. We're happy that our friends invited us to go. First camping trip of Florida in the books. Hope you enjoyed, guys. Bye. Bye.